Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and S9. Both of these phones are pretty powerful with those Exynos or even Snapdragon processors if you are from the US. But then there are some apps that come pre-installed with these devices that are useful at times, but most of the time we often consider them as bloatware. But worry not, apart from those apps, I'll be talking about some really cool 9 Android apps that you must install on these two devices to make the most out of them. And well, we'll not be covering the usual apps like Gmail, Inbox, Evernote, even the Swift key for example. We will be taking up lesser known apps and if you want to know more about them, just make sure that you watch this entire video. So well, my name is Ashish, you are watching Guiding Tech, let's get started. The very first app in the list is SMS Organizer and the main reason for this app to be included is because the default messaging application that Samsung gives is very archaic. I mean, the kind of organization that it provides, it's actually next to nil. So if you're looking for an app which lives up to the other top-notch features of these two devices, you might want to give SMS Organizer a try. Developed by Microsoft, this messaging app not only categorizes your incoming messages, but also sets up reminders for important messages. Apart from that, there's also this backup and restore option using which you can backup your messages onto the Google Drive. And if you receive too many OTPs from your banks or any other such organization, you can directly copy them from using the notification drawer, which is actually not there in the traditional messaging app, but is very useful. The next app in the list is Universal Copy and as the name implies, you can capture any text from almost anywhere on the Android ecosystem, be it a tweet or an Instagram caption. In short, Universal Copy comes into play when Android's native copy paste functionality fails. The setup is simple as you just have to enable the app. To copy a text snippet, pull down the notification shade and tap on the Activate Universal Copy option. Now select the text you would want to copy and then tap on the copy icon. It's as simple as that. Now let's move on to the third application in the list that is the Wi-Fi Prioritizer. And well, this particular application can come in handy if there are many Wi-Fi networks around you and you want to like prioritize them as to which one you want to connect to first. And if that's not working, you can move on to the secondary networks. This app keeps a vigilant look on your Wi-Fi connections and switches to the next available connection in case your current one has any issues. What's more is that it's quite simple to set up. You just need to enable the job and change the priority of the Wi-Fi network from your phone. Now let's move on to the next application in the list that is Snapseed and it is a photo editor. Now the only reason that we have included Snapseed and not any other photo editors that are there available for Android is because this particular app gives you the option to edit raw images without any ads or any other payment options. This application auto detects raw images and suggests tools such as structure, highlights, temperature, shadow control, exposure and tint. Once you're done editing, you can export the images as regular JPEG files. Now moving on, the next application in the list is Adobe SparkPost, a fairly new app. SparkPost lets you create social media ready images in a matter of minutes. With a variety of stock images, fonts and colors to choose from, SparkPost makes it easy to spice up your photos before you post it on Instagram or Facebook. And did I forget to mention, you can also create collage? Yes, that option is right there on the app. Now the next application in the list is for wallpapers and the reason that we have included a wallpaper app is because with the kind of display that are there on the Galaxy S9 and the Note 9, you really need a good wallpaper to actually justify those color gamuts that are there. Wallpaper Craft, yes, that's the name of the app, boasts a ton of wallpapers in 4K resolution. What's more, they are categorized and makes it easier to find the ones that interest you. Apart from that, this particular app also shows you the related images like you have selected Marvel or any other superhero that you would like. You can just scroll down and get related images of the option that you have opted for. Moving on, the next app in the list is a password manager. And well, there are options like LastPass, which are free, but then when passwords are in concern, I would always suggest to go for a paid option and Dashlane is one of them. The app's UI is simple and straightforward. It's easy to set up and makes using password a walk in the park. Similar to most password managers, it locks all the password with the master password. You just have to remember that particular one and the app will take care 
of the rest. Now moving on, the next app in the list is VLC and well, it's just not a video player, but it is actually your overall media management app for Samsung devices. With support for gestures, hardware acceleration and plenty of customization feature, VLC should unquestionably be your go-to player to enjoy media files. You can also stream videos stored on the local network and it doesn't just end there. Unlike other players like MX or the X player, VLC doesn't have any annoying pop-up ads and notification which makes me fall in love with it at the first glance. And finally, the last app in the list is the Windows Photo Companion app. And if you ask me, it is one of the best ways to transfer photos from your phone to a Windows computer without the wires. Now you need to open up the photo app that is there on Windows 10 and it should be updated to the latest version and you just need to scan the QR code. Once you are done, just select the photos that you would like to transfer and as long as both the phone and the computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, these photos will be transferred wirelessly and it's like without any hassle, it's, 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 it's really cool. So friends, those were the top 9 apps that you must install on your Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus and the Note 9. But if you think that we have missed out on any of the important ones, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Guiding Tech, make sure that you hit that subscribe button right now. So well, that's all and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.